Hi there, everyone. I'm meteorologist Ashley Baylor with a check of your latest forecast. It was very cold out there today. Temperatures struggled to even make it into the 20s. We had to settle for highs in the low to mid 20s across the region. And once again, as we go through the overnight hours, temperatures are expected to drop into the single digits. We could be looking at a record breaking cold night. I'm forecasting a low of 8 degrees. The record low is 13, set back all the way in 1884. So if we do break 13 degrees at Norfolk International tonight, we'll be shattering a 100 34 year old record. Our average high for this time of year is 48 degrees. Clearly, we've been nowhere close to that for the last week. 25 degrees expected Sunday, but then winds start to turn more out of the southwest on Monday. So that'll boost temperatures into the mid 40s as we go into that afternoon. 50 degrees on Tuesday and 48 on Wednesday. So a little more of a seasonal start to next week, which I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to at this point because we need Mother Nature to help us melt some of this mess that is out there. Just so you know, wind chill advisory will only be in effect for the eastern shore tonight, and that's because we could see wind chills potentially anywhere from zero to even five degrees below zero overnight. So it's not going to be as frigid as it was with the wind last night, but still very, very cold. So our future track forecast showing you clear skies overnight. I do think our future track forecast is picking up on the potential for some bay effect flurries early tomorrow morning. Not terribly likely since the wind won't be very strong, and of course uh, the water has cooled off a little bit more. But if we do see a few flakes flying, not a huge deal. They won't accumulate to anything. Overall, lots of sunshine expected on Sunday, but highs only in the mid 20s as we go into the afternoon. So El Sol is not really helping us out in the temperature department anyway. We'll be in the teens to kick off your Monday, but then again, with winds turning out of the southwest, that is going to help boost highs into the mid 40s. But in the meantime, we'll have to settle for 10 degrees in Melfa overnight. We'll drop to about 8 in Virginia Beach. Zero expected in Suffolk. Zero in Ahoski as well. And one of the colder spots will likely be Wakefield, dropping to about 4 degrees below zero. Tomorrow, bright but cold. Highs around 25 and notice not as windy. Winds will be out of the north about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we're back in the mid-40s Monday. Showers likely going from Monday night into early Tuesday. 50 degrees on Tuesday with increasing sunshine. Then look at the second half of the week. We make a run for 60 degrees on Thursday, 65 on Friday with rain likely through most of the day. So a lot of melting will take place next week.